My name is Nitin Jogalkar. I'm on the faculty at the Questrom School of Business in Boston University. And my research interests are in the areas of digital product management, uh, supply chain management, and entrepreneurship. And I've been very interested lately to look at uh, business models and new ways of doing business and how those things are affecting the development and delivery of products and supply chains. So first of all, I want to recognize Missy for setting up this initiative. I think it's an amazing service to our research community and to our practitioner community in that we are inviting uh, leading doctoral students from a number of universities across three continents, I believe, Africa, Asia, and Europe now, and at least somebody from US to the four continents, uh, where uh, the students are able to listen and share their views about uh, some of the more uh, uh, interesting problems and some foundational ideas. Uh, so it's a really exciting opportunity for them and for us as a faculty. So as we know, uh, digital ideas and supply chain ideas both um, have no boundaries. Uh, and this is a natural opportunity. Uh, Missy or Malaysia is at the crossroads of the world both in terms of physical supply chains and uh, implementation of these new ideas. And so what uh, this exposure does for these young scholars who are hopefully aiming towards an academic career uh, is to see uh, how their work is being, um, to calibrate their work against other people's thinking, uh, also get some feedback in terms of how this uh, these ideas will apply in global supply chain. Uh, uh, Missy's mission uh, is to kind of think about the MIT scale network and this is truly the uh, intellectual embodiment of scaling. Uh, they are coming in, they're sharing, they're adding to the network and then, then from that they are also learning uh, new ideas um, and uh, questioning things. Uh, today in the class uh, we talked about um, uh, a comparison of Uber versus uh, Grab and the challenges uh, and there were people in the classroom from Africa, they had their own version of Uber, there are people in Ira from Iran, uh, there are people from India, and China. So literally, uh, to look at the problem from very unique perspectives uh, opens up ways of thinking for these doctoral candidates, which I believe is going to make them much more successful, both as scholars and as teachers, uh, further down in their career. So my sense is that the best uh, ideally suited candidates for these are folks who have done their coursework, they're halfway through their doctoral program, they're getting deeper into specific problems and they're thinking about it. And this is an opportunity for them to come and look at what they're doing and compare it against what other students are doing and what the faculty is uh, thinking about. It's a way of calibrating their work and in many cases based on interaction in the classrooms, I can say that they've been able to ask new questions uh, sometimes, uh, or uh, they've been able to sort of look at their problems in new and fresh ways. In my mind, uh, scholarship is a society of mind. Uh, many times you start out by learning basic methods, uh, trying to think about a problem in a, in a deep way. And the biggest benefit is that this gives you an opportunity to step back and look at that very problem that you're working on. There are people here uh, who are working on dairy supply chains. There are people here who are working on pharma supply chains or um, other food supply chains and so on. And you can compare and contrast your work, uh, compare and contrast country effects, uh, compare and contrast what the industrial partners are saying um, in a way. Uh, that's uh, very unique and I hope that it sort of improves the quality of their work um, both in the classroom and uh, in terms of writing papers.
Uh, I would say, yeah, this is a trend. It's a good thing. Um, our sister institutes, our sister uh, universities have these kinds of conferences. Uh, it's a very select set of uh, folks. Um, I would um, highly encourage folks who are well prepared, who have well posed problems, who are trying to push these kinds of problems. So, say halfway uh, into their PhD program is the perfect time to apply uh, for a setting like this. Uh, listen to other people's ideas, share your own ideas, and hopefully that really uh, puts a new put a spin on how you're going to uh, close out your thesis and launch a full career. So uh, that is a very easy question to answer. Um, uh, I need to learn. I need to think about different kinds of supply chains. I need to bring the effects of globalization and digitization uh, into my classroom and my research. And every conversation that I've had with these many countries that I've mentioned, with these students who are very serious, who are thinking about these things, 724, uh, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to learn and come back and hopefully we made friends for life. So, and I, so I want to thank Misi for uh, setting this up and of course the quality is amazing uh, and I certainly hope that uh, this goes from strength to strength.